Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio, August 2, 2022. The day begins with a focus on the simple things. Even so, a Mercury-Saturn opposition comes into influence as the day advances, and it can temporarily keep you feeling tied down. Ideally, financial or emotional blocks or challenges help you discover essential needs or information about yourself and your relationships. Taking little steps towards realizing a dream can be more satisfying now, even if you must get past an obstacle before moving forward. For now, you may feel it's challenging to establish a comfortable dialogue or deeper connection. A temporarily closed mind or fear can lead to defensiveness in the people close to you, and this is not the kind of atmosphere conducive to healthy or genuinely productive conversations. There can be a problem arising that needs fixing, but aim to stick it out take care of problem areas and free your mind. Disappointment could be written in the stars both today and tomorrow. This is because mental Mercury who has been on a racetrack in the sky continues to spin out and crash into walls. He's been energizing your solar second house of finances and today he will wage war with icy Saturn spinning in your solar eighth house of intimacy and shared assets. This means that you and a partner could receive some very damaging and bad news around money matters and perhaps even get caught in a fight between you. Don't sign agreements, and don't let the storms crash down upon you. How can you get yourself out of a slump? The moon is void of course until the afternoon, suggesting that you might struggle to work through the sleepy lunar slumber. But taking it easy can be a fantastic way to end your workweek as you transition into the weekend. Your energy may pick up later on when the moon enters earthy Virgo. Critical Luna is paying close attention to your conversations about work or even with coworkers. You might even feel more specific when replying to colleagues as well. This could be a day for some unusual news. Maybe there are changes that are happening in your career life. You could be hoping to get a new job or a better salary. You could receive word about this happening today. Or you could find out an interesting personal piece of gossip. You might have a friend or a romantic partner who suddenly reveals a new side of their personality. Relations and friends are having a hard time with you and vice versa. Put an end to this mutual feeling of frustration, be honest with yourself and consider compromising on some points. Talking to people to clear things up is also a big help. Regard today's negative atmosphere as an opportunity to resolve conflicts permanently. Try to chill and let the situation go on its own for a while, even if you're driving yourself crazy over your roommate's unpaid share of the bills or obsessing over the difference between your income and where you want to be. Whatever you try to achieve is criticized and unlikely to be accepted in a very favorable way especially if you feel undue pressure to perform any kind of activity. It is far better to delay important activities or decisions until you feel positive about the outcome. Use your sense of humor to relieve any tension. You might find it challenging to connect with people in positive ways today. There is a fair amount of nervous, moody energy floating about, and you don't want to be the victim of target practice from a grumpy personality. Your efforts to create peace might go unappreciated, and your attempts at humor might fall flat. Don't take on the obligation of psychologist. Try to focus on your own responsibilities and let things calm down. The vibrations of the day are going to tend to destabilize you. You are going to have to go with the flow even if the going is a little rough. However, you should think about your behavior with your family and friends, try not to beat them over the head with your certitude. Take time to listen and weigh the pros and cons of a situation and stop acting on impulse. There may be a slowdown in your professional life. At the same time that Mars is part of a rare triple alignment in your relationship sector, that it happens right on the lunar nodes is also making what you want from your relationships and what they need from you more transparent. As Mars moves into his final 18 days in your relationship sector this is giving the warrior planet of the cosmos a better sense of what you are fighting for while also allowing you to start from a place of truth. 
Meanwhile, the stars continue to align on the job and career fronts just as Venus works to make her last full week in an adventurous part of your chart count. By tomorrow Mars will no longer be aligned with Uranus and the North Node in your relationship sector, something that is giving you a sense of authenticity and a realistic starting point. Mars will continue to fight for what you want and need from your relationships but it helps to start from a place of truth. Our eyes in the sky. There is big Leo energy around you with both the Sun and Mercury surrounding you with love and light, but the big planetary news today is relationship-focused, balance-seeking asteroid Juno heading retrograde in procrastinator Pisces. Any interpersonal struggles that you've tried to cover up float to the surface now, and you'll have a hard time ignoring them under this self-reflective retro motion. Some good questions to ask yourself during this retrograde cycle will be why you're in the relationships you're in, and if the partnerships in your life have an equal sense of give and take. You might not have any huge epiphanies or aha moments now, but putting yourself on the track toward figuring out which relationships work and which ones need more effort is a big step forward for you while Juno spins backward. Passions are high, and we might be moved to fight for others' rights, knowing that is the just thing to campaign for all to be able to exercise their freedom of expression, who knew that our pain could be best exorcised by taking the focus, and therefore, the weight of expectation, off of ourselves, and witnessing self-doubt through another's eyes? Under this influence, we can assist others with their problems, healing our own fear of incompetence in the process. Close friends benefit from our guidance and trust our judgment, as it is clear we have lived through similar situations and can provide sound advice for dealing with their dilemmas. In the morning, the Leo moon squares off with Jupiter in Aries, stimulating self-indulgence. As the moon transits Leo, we crave safety and comfort, and we might believe that we can sate our appetite for security by feeding our cravings, Jupiter style. For this reason, be conscious of how coping mechanisms can become unhealthy. We might go overboard trying to protect or nurture those who have not requested our help. Avoid eating or drinking to excess. This transit will pass quickly, and we probably won't suffer too many ill effects. However, we should be conscious of how we perceive voids and the ways we seek to fill them. We might long to be around loved ones, those with whom we are safe expressing our emotions. We can easily pour our devotional feelings into our pets, home environments, creative projects, or even our work. However, it is more likely that this aspect will manifest in a desire to socialize. Although we incline to give love at this time, be mindful that you are worthy of receiving it too, even if you haven't done anything to earn it. Your interests are still varied, but you see the value in more practical viewpoints. The only person who might be judgmental about your life is you. Give yourself a hug and try to embrace your unique qualities. Understand that you're an amazing person who relishes originality. The flip side to this transit is that emotions may be erratic and temperamental. Take a step back from a situation if you feel that it's ready to combust. Take a momentary pause in an argument or with your inner frustrations to help calm you down. This will also allow you to think from a rational and clear-headed perspective, which can be hard to do when emotions accelerate and reach fever pitch.